So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you will get a real-time rendering in Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial, I will show you the NVIDIA DLSS 3.5 plugin for Unreal Engine 5. So what it does like, it will help you to do the real-time rendering. Like if you are using Unreal Engine 5 to render your scenes. Now by this plugin, you will able to get a real-time render. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to go to your Epic Store. It will look like this and you have to just go to your search panel and you have to just write dlss you will see something like this you have to just click on this one and then you have to click on the external link so when you will open your external link you will see something like this what you have to do you have to just scroll down and then you have to just click on this one agree to terms and condition uh, and it will be present in this one download DLSS 3.5 Unreal Engine plugin you don't need to download anything in this one like you will get this type of stuff you don't need to download this thing you have to just scroll down and you have to just download this thing you have to just tick this box and you will get this option okay so for me i'm using unreal engine 5.3 but in your case it will be different so just choose your version i will download the 5.3 and when you download this thing you will get something like this okay unreal engine 5 dlss 3.0 plugin okay you have to just extract this thing so after extracting what you will see you will see a folder like this you have to open this one and then you will you have to go to your plugin option and then you have to just copy this everything you can copy everything or you can just copy this too but i would recommend you to just copy everything and then you have to just go to your unreal engine directory where you install your unreal engine so for me i install my unreal engine in this place so it will be look like this in your case if you didn't change the directory of installation then it will be probably in your c drive you can watch other tutorials to see the exact location where your unreal engine files will be so for my case it will be there i will just go to the engine and then in the engine you will get a plugin option and then you have to paste it okay the folders that you copied so if you see i am having already pasted uh, this folders like dlss and dlss movie pipeline supports and after that what you have to do you have to just close this thing and you have to open your unreal engine okay when you open your unreal engine you have to just go to your edit section so you have to go to your plugin section and then you have to just write dlss so you will see this two option so when you enable this two option you will see this type of restart you have to just restart your unreal engine so when everything is finished what you have to do you have to just uh, add your level sequencer whatever you want to add and then you have to go to your render settings so in the render setting you will get a, a option called dlss and dlla so you can see there we have the dlss and dlla you have to just enable to set this thing to dlla and it will be good to go do not use other stuff uh, if you don't know about the render setting of, of unreal engine 5 so i already make a tutorial of that thing uh, you can watch that thing it will be helpful for you uh, and for the dlss stuff that uh, how much different you will get uh, while rendering this dlss and the normal render that you do with sample count so i will say that it will be not that much noticeable like yeah you will get something like a little bit different uh stuff between your main render and your dlss render but it is not that much a uh, difference but you will get a very good real-time rendering by using this dlss plugin so i will recommend you to try this thing and you have to what you have to do you have to just use like in normal settings what you what you do like you use like anti-analyzing this stuff you have to just disable this thing and you have to render with this one okay so in this one you don't need any kind of sample anything and i will recommend you to just try first you what you do you just uh, render with this anti-analyzing and just save that thing and then you render with this dlss and then what you can do you can compare that both two side by side and just compare them like uh, which one is looking better it will totally depend on your scene how it looks and the other stuff but for real-time rendering it will work very great and you will get like very real time like it will just render your like 300 frames in just real time it is so good uh i used uh this dlss in my one project uh and that is my gtsx recreated vid uh, video that i already uploaded in my channel you can see on that uh on that gtsx scene i used dlss to render my scene because by normal settings i couldn't able to render that scene because it is too heavy for my pc so i used dlss and it done a very pretty good job so i think it will help you and that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching